You will need uh, two programs to work through this tutorial. The first is Microsoft Visual Studio C Sharp and the second is FFmpeg. So to start off, if you don't have uh, Microsoft Visual Studio C Sharp, to get it is easy. You just go to Google and search for it basically. Uh, the express part basically means like the free edition, so that's probably what you want. And I'm using the 2010 edition, but you can use any any that you want. They all will do what we're trying to do fairly easily. So just click on the first one, Microsoft.com, and you just go ahead and click here. And uh, install now. Installing FFmpeg is just a straightforward, except there's one extra step. So for the first part, uh, you just search for it on Google, and basically, pretty much the first link you want to click on download. And uh, depending on your system, download the appropriate thing. But hopefully you're using Windows because uh, this tutorial is just basically for Windows. But anyways, yeah, so you just click on the respective link. Uh, if you're using Windows, you want the static build. So uh, you can download if you're 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on your computer. And um, so once it's downloaded, you want to open up the zip file. And what you're going to do is uh, extract the folders within into uh, some location. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you can save it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. But if you want to use it between uh, different accounts, you probably want to save it somewhere in a non-user specific location. So I just save it at C uh, in a folder called FFmpeg. Just click OK. Now if I go ahead to the folder um, I just created right there. Double click it, you can see the content is there. Now, uh, just because you've installed FFmpeg does not mean you can use it from the command line. So, what do I what do I mean by that? If you go and open it up, and you type in. Uh, FFmpeg, nothing happens. It says it's not recognized as an internal or external command, etc. So, for you to be able to run FFmpeg just by typing it in, you need to add the location of the .exe to your path. So basically, this file right here is uh, what we want to add to our path. So to do that, you go, uh, you click start, you right click on computer, and head over to properties, takes you here, what you want to click then is advanced system settings, 
and then you want to change the environment variables and then you want to scroll down to path over here and edit it so what we're going to do is append the location of the exe so in this case uh, we're going to right click properties on the on the exe and there's the path to it so it's and this of course will change depending on where you saved it on your computer so just put the respective one so what you do is you uh, you put a semicolon to mark the end of the other one and then you uh, insert the pad make sure there's no space between the semicolon and the pad and just click OK and OK and OK so now if you come here uh, and you type ffmpeg nothing happens uh, that's cause uh, you just need to start a new instance of it basically and uh, if you do you can see a bunch of stuff happens basically but it's it's working